On this episode of Living the Dream, Jimmy and Louisa are back in Sarasota fishing with their good friends Jim Rodriguez and Captain Tim No. Today, they will be deep dropping 80 miles offshore before coming back in to catch some powerful permit on the wreck. That's an amberjack right there. Mm. You guys see this thing? This is a monster. Something special. Oh, oh, Something special. God. Permit number one in the boat. One cast, one crab. My limit on permit right there. Look at that thing go! Oh my gosh! Nice! Woo -hoo -hoo! There he goes! That's the biggest rooster fish I've ever seen, Louisa! Oh my god! Ah! Hoo -hoo -hoo! Gosh, guys! Well done! Woo hoo! All right! Woo! Yeah, boy! That's a kingfish right there! Oh my gosh! This week on Living the Dream, we're back in Sarasota, Florida. The group heads out early with Captain Tim No of Gulf Coast Offshore Ventures. After baiting the rods with thread fin, crab, and squid, the lines are set. Jim Rodriguez, aka Jimbo, eagerly waits for the first bite of the day. Almost immediately, the line starts to peel. The grizzly cooler will be filled up in no time. But it's Louisa that catches the first one. Woo, we got a fish. Oh yeah, he's there. Another beautiful day here in Sarasota. There you go. Look at here. Look at this. Man. It's a tasty little critter. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Good job, Louisa. It's a pretty one. Look at the colors on this fish. Ridiculous colors. Beautiful. Good job. This is a long tail bass. Beautiful fish. Look at the shades of yellow and orange. Incredible. Deep water fish, they have the best colors. Going in the grizzly coolers. Close. Color, color. All right. Snapper. Oh, oh, is that a scam? There. Oh, big corgi. Big corgi. Yeah. He called it, man. He's a corgi. No, no, really there. Ooh. He's already stuffed the crab. Yeah, he is. Crab stuffed the uh, snowy. Pretty one. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. A nice yeah, boy. Got a nice camp. About 500 feet. That's why his eyes are popping out like that. Because of all that pressure. But good eating fish. My goodness. All right, here we go. Got him coming up. Oh, you're still bouncing. I hope he didn't just pop off. He was bouncing pretty good, but 
I think we still got him. We're getting a lot of scamps out here. This is a great area for scamps, one of the things we're targeting. We're also trying to get a Warsaw grouper, so we'll see if we're able to pull one of those up today. This obviously isn't one, but we'll be doing the Warsaw grouper on the hand crank. Should be getting color pretty soon. Here it comes. Getting real close, just don't see him. There he is, there he is, he's down there ways. Yeah, it looks like a, a scam. This is about as tasty of a fish as you're gonna get right here. Man, these are delicious. Look at that, the fish, the hook didn't even get him in the mouth. Got him in the nose. And that's what we're after, tasty scams. They only gotta be 16 inches to keep. This guy here is probably over 20. Measure him on the grizzly. And yep, he is 20, almost 22, 21 and a half. It's one of the smaller ones we've got today, too. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Grizzly Coolers. Envision, engineered, and perfected for performance. Deck it. Never compromise. Demand the best. And by Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Ah, beautiful Sarasota, Florida. With picture-perfect weather year-round, it's easy to see why Sarasota is a bevy of fishing attraction for anglers all around the world. The Ramada by Wyndham offers spacious rooms with plentiful areas to unwind in. With king-sized beds available, a good night's sleep is sure to follow. Outside, the swimming pool and attached tiki bar is the perfect place to catch a bite to eat. And watch overhead planes bringing in more tourists. You can enjoy chilled mixed drinks concocted to a blended perfection, topped with a fruity addition. And then it's back to a little bit of R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. Sunsets in Sarasota, Florida are one of a kind and always a pleasing sight to the many fishermen that flock to this paradise. The Ramada by Wyndham. Book your reservations now. Back on the boat, Jimmy has another fish hooked up. Yeah, we got him bouncing here, guys. This looks like a good one. This might be a bigger snapper or something. Yeah. Really showing he's got a little bit of kick all the way up. This one's bouncing. Have another perfect day out here. No wind, not a wave in sight, no boats, nothing. It's a beautiful day. 150 feet to go. Oh, there he is, there he is. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. And guys, this is Dan right here. This is the guy that's keeping these lines going down, baiting us up, making everything happen behind the scenes. Thanks for everything you're doing, Dan, man. You're putting it together for us. Have fun, guys. Have yes, fun. Sir. Yeah, good job. Got him. Whoa. Got him. That's a big fish, guys. Exactly Look what at we that were tip on. right there moving all over. Woo! Some 
color soon. Yeah. Uh, 150. 150 feet to go. Oh, we're about to see them. Yep, there it is. Straight down. All right. All right. Look it up. It's snowy, I think. Yep, looks like it. Nope, it's a skin. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Another piece of line, please. Thank you. There you go. A nice scamp, Louisa. Oh, wow. You're oh, getting nice. him. Beautiful scamp grouper here. Delicious to eat, too. All the fish we're catching deep droppings, they are delicious to eat. Got another one coming up. There he, there he is. And we got us a vermilion. Thanks a bunch, Dan. Thank you. Dan, the man Got putting it. us on them. We need help over here. It's going to be wrapped up. Going in a cooler. All right, guys, the big line got hit again. Tim thinks this one is a jack from the way it's coming up. I guess we'll see. It's a strong fish either way. Different than flipping the button. Here he is. Way down there. Is that a jack or is that the right one? Oh. It hit too high up. Yeah. He's a big boy, huh? Wow. Well, guys, oh my, that's an amber jack right there. Mm. You guys see this thing? This is a monster, monster jack. Well, guys, look at the size of this jack. Whoo, that's a monster. See if I can get him up and show you guys what he looks like. Mm. What you think of that? <laughs> That's a monster. A little bit bigger than those vermilion snappers we've been catching. Absolute stud. We got him on this cooler here. Wouldn't even fit in that 165 quart cooler. I'd have had to bring the Grizzly 400 for that bad boy if we were going to keep him. What a monster. two at a time, it's a lot better than one at a time. A whole lot. And that electric reel is a huge help when you're out here in 500 plus feet. And those little guys right there are about as tasty as you get. They're actually not all that little. These are about 17, 18 inch vermilions. I'm actually gonna measure mine while Jim flopping around there. This guy's not wanting to come with Dude, you. look at that, it's 18 and a half. 
That's exactly what I said. You know, 18, 19 inch vermilions all day. Several 20 plus inches. See what we're using here, this is squid. We have a variety of bait going down for them. We're using squid, cut thread fins, and sometimes pinfish, but we're not using the pinfish for the vermilions. We're saving those for different fish, the grouper and things. And Louisa is getting some nice ones. Filling up the cooler. Look at that. Woo! Our cooler is looking super colorful too. Yes, very bright. Very bright. Constant action on this rod, guys. Tell you what, man. There it is. Another good one. This is nice. Jimmy takes yeah. my fish off. Try not to get catch it. He puts it in the cooler for me. This is awesome. <laughs> I like this kind of teamwork here. Yeah. Good right. stuff. Look at that. Another effect. Killing them. Let me show you guys this again. I mean, these are all cookie cutters here. They're all like, yeah, 18, 18 inch fish, 18, 19, 20 inches, almost every one of them. Time to catch another one. like it. No? No? Something special. Oh, Something special. Yes. Jimbo said he wanted one. Yeah, look at that. He fell right off. Dude, we got him right in time. Wow. His, ah, his eyeball popped out and just got him. Son of a gun. He knew how to aim. Mm -hmm. Sharpshooter even. Yeah, he high. is. He'll get you. See what just happened to me there. These fish oh, got sharp God. stuff on them. There you go, Jim. You blew his eyeballs out, man. You had that on full speed, huh? Yeah, Come on in here. Control my strength sometimes. Be careful, they're sharp. And this is why you're careful on the fish. One little flick, and it's like the fins, everything on them are so sharp. Just gonna be careful with me. It's like neon, orange, pink, yellow. Oh, that's Heck an amazing yeah. fish. Long tail bass. 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 Yes, sir. Colorful bass. bass. That's a pretty bottom right there, my friend. That is nice. That's looking nice, Jimmy. That's a nice There he is. All right. <laughs> well, guys, after a great day of deep dropping, Jim said, you want to catch a couple permit on the way? I said, sure, let's do it. So now we're all the way back in 70 feet. And I got a permit ripping out some line, and so does Jim. Woo! Real good fish. <laughs> In the boat. One cast, one crab, and my limit on permit right there. Oh, yeah, there oh boy. Twinsies. Number two. Ooh. Heck yeah, Jimbo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks, Tim. Absolutely. Yeah. I said it would be a quick stop, and it sure was. Man, back to back <laughs> action right here, man. That was awesome. No, I'm kidding. Dude, that was cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought we were calling it a day earlier, but I tell Dude, you what, guys. Messing around. Now we're definitely calling it a day. We got them all, Tim. We got everything. I think we can do to get them a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, nice variety. Bonus. Yeah, and you can do this on your short trip, too, because this is only, what, 30 minutes from land or something now? Yep. Got that. Very close. <laughs> Man, yeah, I what an amazing fun. day. So much fun. Yes, and thanks again for watching Living the Dream. We'll see you next week, same time, same place, for more big fish fighting action. With the grizzly cooler filled up, Jimmy, Louisa, and Jimbo head back into town to stop by Cask and Ale for a late afternoon snack. A variety of chilled, mixed drinks are prepared by a seasoned bartender. And then, on to the catch of the day, fish tacos. There's that smile again, one that is deserving of the food prepared. Jimmy adds lots of lime to his, and soon everyone is enjoying their glazed catch. Mmm, yummy. Cask and Ale, the perfect spot to end the day with good friends. For more fishing and diving action, follow Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson.